Hello, I'm Shadow Kavan. Welcome back to some more Company of Heroes. So we're going to the next level now, Sotva. I think it's Sotva anyway. So that's how I'm going to pronounce it, even if it's wrong. Um, Allied Intelligence uncovered a functional V2 rocket site to deal with this threat. Fox Company is called in to raid the facility. Their mission is to neutralize the V2 site's garrison and destroy the rocket. So I think we'll just jump straight in and watch the video clip. 40,000 German prisoners in Cherbourg. It was hard to accept that we fought so hard for this port, and all we got was a huge ruin. The Germans had destroyed it so badly that it was months before we could use it. Taking the city did have its perks, though. Hidden in a bunker, we found secret Nazi documents. Here are schematics of the actual V-2 rocket itself. The launch base is hidden in a valley to the south, near the town of Sadevast. It appears to be half buried in the hillside and is still under construction. The launch platform itself is heavily defended, ruling out a direct bomber strike. Therefore, this will be an airborne operation. After nightfall, we will land paratroopers within the perimeter walls of the base and assault the launch platform on foot. This is a highly dangerous mission. Godspeed. We like highly dangerous missions. They're always a bunch of fun, aren't they? <coughs> So it sounds like more troops rather than any vehicles, although we are, are airborne, so I guess that's probably the reason. Operation Stonewall. If you capture the mana at the beginning, increase your individual population cap. What's Operation Stonewall? It's not this one, is it? Or is it online or something? Who knows? <coughs> so this mission should be a bunch of fun. When it finally loads up, that is, of course. Press any key. Where's the any key? There we go, found it. Looks like I've got three squads of men, or two. I'm going to go three. Our main target is the V2 launch platform located here. Planting demolition charges will create a chain reaction, destroying the base. The base is protected by anti-aircraft guns. These limit where we can drop our paratroopers. Take out those guns quickly to open up our drop zones. That's a lot of anti-aircraft guns. Sure our supply lines will need a secondary attack here at the main entrance. Understand, we will have no base of operations. This means we need to raid enemy depots to capture heavy weapons. Let's get to it. Okay, so you don't know where the um, depots are. That's fine. <coughs> and so the first thing is to assault the gates. Okay, you heard the captain. You gotta take out that launch platform. Let's have a look. So, the launch platform was all the way over here, right in the very back corner of the base, obviously. So the only way to get to it is probably to go all the way around. So, <coughs> assault to the main entrance. We can establish a supply line. The longer we keep that supply line open, the more time we give Able Company to send in reinforcements. Now move in and capture that strategic point. So it sounds like I've got to assault and then hold the entrance. I'm guessing there's two machine guns here and something else here probably plus probably some troops as well um sorry let's i guess we just pull these guys straight in here let's go boys <coughs> should i move these guys across here it's got three oh yeah so you guys can run in and grab that Whilst you guys take care of these dudes here. <coughs> and we'll, then we can turn the anti-aircraft gun around onto the enemy. And they've also lo nicely left us a couple of... Um, shit. Heavy machine guns lying around as well. So, expect to be cut these fuckers to bits pretty quickly. That's fine. Right. 
so what I need to do is this squad of six can grab that machine gun here. I think it takes, what, three guys to man the heavy machine gun? So I'll be left with a squad of three. In theory, anyway. Today, maybe? There we go. Is he facing the right direction? Kind of. Let's move him... We'll pop him just there. That should be fine. Although I could... Kind of tempted to grab the other squad and put it them on this one and face that way, but this this guy should have it covered. I think, at least anyway. Right, let's uh, get you down here and you over here for now. <clears throat> so we're going to be assaulted by lots of ground troops, which we've just got to hold off for now. Hopefully nothing comes around the side of us, although it shouldn't do... No, it can't do, unless it comes from inside this trench network. But it's just taking these dudes out, who seem to be firing at me in the... Yep, cutting them, to, cutting them to ribbons, that's good. <coughs> oh, shit, no, shit, we need to capture this point, don't we? What a plonker. So, group three, grab this. Fuck. Right, okay, so, change of plan. If I get these guys out. <coughs> okay, so, let's... So throw such charge at this wall, blow a hole in this wall here. And then we'll stick around and hopefully throw one at this wall, I'm thinking. Don't run towards it, you idiot. Hopefully they don't get killed by this such a charge. No, they didn't, that's fine. So move moving me and I'll get into... Actually, I'll get into wait just a minute. No, don't go in the building. These guys run in the building. Actually. Let's give him a recall his rifle, because they're pretty good against buildings, aren't they? No, oh no, vehicles and tanks, never mind. But why is there... Why is there being shot, though? What I'll do is I'll get these guys to throw a satchel charge in this building here. Hopefully I'll take it down, or at least kill the guys inside. These guys, when they become unpinned, are going to jump into here. And there goes one. So I need to wait for this satchel charge to be to regenerate in 16 seconds. May have been a stupid idea to pull these guys across, but... Either way, they're putting it cut to shreds. I can move these guys around a bit further here, and then they can chuck one. <coughs> whilst he's distracted, hopefully. Oh, my mouse jumped across the... Uh... Bloody hell, right. So we're being pinned from both sides now, so... Throw satchel charge, and then run to this building. Or run all the way around here. That's fine by me. They're getting cut off by two lots of things, unfortunately. Anyway, there goes both the buildings. Although now this squad down here is pinned, annoyingly. These dudes are going to have to move up a bit here. So I can't... Oh, can I read? Oh, I can reinforce them, actually. Oh, cool. I can actually reinforce these guys. I didn't think I could do, but I can. So that's good. Uh, we'll get these dudes out. Exit over here. And we'll... Refill them with floor reserves and then we'll capture this point in just a minute. So, yeah, so they're paratroop pins, that's fine. So, I don't actually need a base of operations. Uh, what we're going to do is actually chuck these guys into this building here. Once these guys have replenished, then I'll start capturing the point. Actually, I can send these guys here to capture the point, that's fine. These dudes here can just pull back a little bit. <coughs> Hmm. Can't, can't tend to face that way, it's a little bit annoying, but never mind. Could take, I could tell him to attack the ground. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a cold going on, so if I do feel a bit sound a bit stuffy, that's why. Oh, there's a group over here on an anti-aircraft gun. So, yeah, the first steps will be to take out this gun here, probably. Right. So we could build a observation post on top of here, just so it increases our um, resource gain from it. No, we're not. The strategic point at the front gate. A liar. Do not let the Germans recapture it. Able Company is sending reinforcements. <coughs> we must keep the supply lines open. I just could order a squad of airborne demolitions infantry. Awesome. So we've got to hold this gate for 10 minutes, which should be a bunch of fun. Hopefully they'll just come down the middle and we can just... You know, 
totally thrashed them. Uh, everyone jump inside the building. Hopefully everyone can fit inside here and then that should hopefully be able to hold them off. Everybody inside. Uh, don't tell shit. Okay, that building is now full of people. Nine out of twelve. There we go. So you can have two full squads of men or one squad plus a machine gun. I think we'll go with one squad plus a machine gun. Can these, what can these guys build? Barbed wire, sandbags, mines. Well, I think we might be better just sticking to mines here. Hopefully, just in case they bring some vehicles. Hopefully our own vehicles don't run across them and blow up because that would be a little bit awkward. Fired up. Well, fired up squads are less prone to suppression and move faster for a short time. After the effects of fire up wear off, the squad will suffer from exhaustion, reducing the movement and attack speeds for a short period. That's pretty cool then. So... If I need to run them across some open ground or something, and they're going to be suppressed, and I could fire them up. Um, run back, let these guys run into here and get cut up by these guys plus this dude here, hopefully. Well, at least that's the plan. Or they seem just to be shooting at the here. We're not shooting back at them. <coughs> Especially with oh, I don't know, a machine gun that's in there. Which we, there we go. Open up. Assuming these guys probably can't see anybody. Annoyingly, right. Let's move these guys into the trench here. Don't know if they can shoot over the top or not. We'll soon find out. So these dudes are actually pinned. So Ah, they can fire across. Excellent. So we'll just leave these guys in the trench here. They can fire at these guys. Who are now pinned or were pinned by the machine gun. I think they still are pinned. So we should cut them up pretty easily. What I would give for like this over here in front of this gap would be super helpful. Although they could blow a hole in the wall here. Which they could see through in case we get attacked from this side. That could be quite helpful actually. Tempted to do that, throw such shells, blow this wall up like I've done this wall here. So these guys can shoot through at any people. If I can move, I might move these guys across in just a minute and actually do that. Because we should make this a lot more helpful. Of course, a lot of time doesn't make any sense to actually blow up your own cover. But in this case, it probably, well, it might help us. I think it helps us more than it would hinder us, at least, anyway. So, satchel charge, uh, just there, should do. And then these guys can move back here. <clears throat> Actually, they can finish building this. Are these all built, or can they still build them? So, that's a hole in the wall. That should hopefully help this guy. That might be helpful to blow this bit up, but, you know, it didn't. And it doesn't look like these guys can actually keep building. I'm going to assume all these are built, although I don't think they are, never mind. We'll just get these guys back in the trench anyway. And we'll await some more of the enemy coming in the next six minutes. I'm assuming they'll pull more on more men on me. As that gets closer to the time for my reinforcements. I could call some actually reinforcements here. I've got 18 out of 50 slots open, or 50 out of 50 pop cap. So I could call some more men. I don't think I need them at the moment. I might just leave this <coughs> as a backup for in a bit, a little bit. Just in case I need to drop them somewhere particularly. But we've just got to defend this main entrance here anyway. Which has given us three points, I think it is. Yeah, plus three. So three manpower. Yeah, three manpower from controlling territory sectors. <coughs> so let's look, whilst we're quick, I'll have a quick look around the map and plan our... Plan our um, mission ahead. So, my first thing I think we'll do is to attack this guy here and take him out. And capture this. Because I think the route is up here and down here, up these stairs. That's only a roof though, isn't it? How do I get... Okay, I've got all the way around the back here. So, I've got to come... Jesus, that's really far. So, up here, capture this point. Straight up here. Straight round the very back of here, round here eventually. So we've got to capture all these points here. That's a dead end. There are stairs to this roof though, which would be quite helpful. <clears throat> so apparently they're sending another wave against me now. So yeah, that... So I could send men around here to go up here or just at least capture these points, which might be helpful because I'll probably get attacked from the rear otherwise. So, in fact, what 
a good plan might be is to strike this way, capture this side of the base, because I'm not really going to bother sending men up here because I can just send them up the front here, although there is an anti-aircraft gun. Yeah, capture these points and then pull back and then capture this point and this point. So come this way, probably capture this point here, push on, capture this point and this point as well. So that point, this point and then that point up here and then come back to this point down here I think is probably the best bet. <clears throat> and I'm still waiting to be attacked. There's no one still attacking me at the gates, which is a little bit interesting. So I'm assuming they're going to assault me by the sounds of things in qu with quite a lot of force in just a minute. But it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it's time to defend this strategic point. But ah, here we go. So they're bringing in a um, half track. <coughs> These guys do have a recallless rifle, so they sh ooh, two lots, two half tracks. So they should be able to do some damage at least. If they can get close enough to fire them, or if they get close enough to us to fire them, plus these these guys down here have got one as well. So there you go. that's the fella just there. So if they come down here, we should be able to get a few decent hits on them as well. I just wish this gun here was a little bit more useful. It would be if they were down to here, but for now it's not. And unfortunately, you can't actually move them. Annoyingly, but <coughs> we should be okay. What I could do is build sandbags across here and then put my guys behind them. Which might be an idea for the next break. Although if you have... Hmm. Because I could always blow them up good enough. I need to get past them, I guess. But these guys just... <laughs> nice. Yeah, we'll take out that truck that's not even moving. Good plan, boys. These guys are pretty pinned. There are two half tracks around here somewhere. Which, you do have, which we have got to be a little bit careful of. I don't want to run my men into them, or they sh we should be fine because we've got two recallless rifles. These guys are in. Is it orange? Yellow full cover? That red's no cover. Green is full because they're in half cover at the moment. This guy apparently can't. Oh, wrong guy selected. Whoops. Oh, never mind, he got. He decided to commando roll and then get blo killed by a machine gun. So we'll get these guys back into here and then we'll just hang on. So, yeah, should I build sandbags across there, do you reckon? Might be a bit easier, I'm thinking. Let's, yeah, let's do that. We can always blow them up with um, a satchel charge or something, so it's not the end of the world. Although, doing that would probably damage this building here, but you know, shit happens. I think it'd be easier for the defence of the base if we do station it behind some sandbags. Because then we could bring more firepower to bear. Plus we can run them quick, quickly round into the trench if they assault this way. If they, if they decide to assault this way, then we've got this to take care of them. So that should be fine. <coughs> These guys are pretty mobile. In regards to that anyway. So... Pop them here and we'll just... These guys are in, like, no cover. These guys are in full cover, so... We should be fine. I'm expecting one more assault in the next minute on the main entrance. But to be honest, I expected a lot more... A lot more of an assault. The first two ones we had. But they seem to have, um... Not really... Done. They sent, what, four squads of men? They had the two towers blew up, plus they sent probably four squads of men... Plus two half-tracks, which didn't actually join in the assault. If the two half-tracks had joined in the assault, probably would have been a lot harder for me. But, there we go. So, that, that signifies another wave of men coming. Which I'm assuming will include some sort of vehicle for the last one. Just to ramp it up a little bit more. theory. So yeah, we'll pu probably push some troops. If we push them this way, we can assault this from behind. We can throw a hand grenade or something over and blow them up and then capture this point. Rather than going down, I think going down the main road might be a mistake. Probably come across here, cut a hole in the fence, then go straight across. Or we could even take this point and then go all the way around, grab this point and then come back down here. But that won't be for this video, that'll be for the next video anyway. 
So apparently got another 10 minutes to defend the main entrance, or they have got a few more men. <clears throat> so I think this is a great place to take a break. So thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video.